Good morning, guys. Back on the earth dog. I did a little bit of uh, mocking up last night. And uh, just to see where everything's going to line up. But we are fixing to start doing a little bit of fabricating and welding and everything. And get this thing going. What we are doing here is the actual, uh, the bottom, uh, steering arm. I'm going to take it and modify it. I've already cut off, uh, a part of it. And what I'm doing is I'm going to have it as a carrier for the steering rod. I'm actually going to weld it up behind here for the steering rod to go through so it gives it some stability so i'm actually going to get that done and i'm also got let me get around to this other side so you guys can see a little bit better but as you can see i took and uh cut a plate last night i thought my camera was recording but it wasn't sorry about that but I cut a plate right here last night and I'm actually going to weld one right there and on the very opposite side um, and use some U-bolts to lock that uh, steering rack in place. Now, before you guys see me do any welding, I'm by no means a professional welder. Matter of fact, I haven't been even doing it that long. So I'm in the, still in the learning process. Hopefully like a lot of you guys are that's watching this video. Not bad. Since I couldn't hardly get in there, good. So, <clears throat> what I've done is the steering wheel mount that came with the kit. I actually cut it and drilled. Drilled a hole out in the center where this is slide into.
put welded in a spot for the rack and pinion to bolt to now we are also going to be putting uh, new spindles on this part as well the other spindles have gotten loose and worn out over time we're going to get all this put back together up front and uh I think once I get the steering in, I think I'm also going to make an additional support that comes down from here uh, to support the steering column. Give y'all a close look. Well, I've done. Now. I'm sure there was probably better ways to do this, but uh, this is for people that has one that's been wanting to do rack and pinion um, and wants to do it with the basics. You can see the spacer out of the tubing that I made to go in between the uh, plate that I welded in and the rack and pinion. That way it doesn't put any uh, unwanted pressure on the rack and pinion over time and cause it not work properly. left off I got to kind of got ahead of myself but I'll show y'all what I'm doing um, pretty much got the steering complete I've just got to go over and sand it and clean it up and repaint but as you can see I put a another steering column support bracket on here and uh, I know my wheels may not be that beautiful but I guarantee you they'll hold 
but it definitely made the steering a lot stronger. It doesn't have any kind of uh, any kind of play in it anymore at all. All right, guys, got much battery life left, but I got to a point where I'm fixing to test drive it. Just rolled it outside. Got the steering done. Took out the button, the wires up. Still got the button, the wires up, and everything. And slough the back tires out for the other ones that he wants. Let me get you mounted up here. Swap these back tires over. And put the other ones on there that he wants. Uh, button those wires up. And that's pretty much it for this video. One more look at how I did the steering.
guys appreciate y'all watching this video um if you would give it a like subscribe and there will be more interesting stuff to come here in the near future appreciate it guys until next time